a return to the win column this afternoon. Uh, what are your thoughts after that 1-0 victory against Gainsborough? It was a must. We had a reaction from last week's result, performance. Um, obviously, in terms of result, we've got that performance. I thought it was, we was good for, for large uh, parts of the first half. And second half, they, they, they nullified us uh, quite well, so credit to, to Gainsborough. Um, they, uh, they, they, they put a stop to where we, we believe we're strong, where we create a lot of chances, and uh, they went man for man in there. And, it, you know, to be fair, second half, it turned into a bit of a scrappy game. But uh, three points is three points, and on to the next one. It was obviously that result that you want after a defeat last week. Is that what you wanted to see out of the lads today, that sort of reaction? Yeah, listen, it's not always a performance that gets you three points. It's 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 grinding them out. And I think today, you know, a lot of people might say we you know it wasn't a great game to watch. It was cold, it was but you know, training Tuesday, Thursday uh, training, we, we spoke about intensity and we spoke, we used the words reaction, that's what it was all about, getting a reaction and, and in terms of that that's that's what we've got. We've got the three points which you know Keeps that seven point gap at the top of the table, uh, and, and now obviously thoughts are on Tuesday night. Um, a, a tough game away at Morpeth. Obviously, a clean sheet as well. That has to be a huge bonus for the defence, doesn't it? Yeah, especially after conceding four. And, and, and like you see, you know, we're, we're top of the league and we haven't got the best defensive record. Uh, let's be honest, we, we, we play attacking football, which at times leaves the, the back free vulnerable. Uh, so we're well aware, you know, as, as many goals as we score. We do take chances and, and risks, which might be, you know, might be the fact that we concede goals. So to keep a clean sheet today after leaking four last season, it's certainly going to be a, be a confidence boost for the, the, the back three uh, and the keeper included. Did the game go as you expected today? Did Gainsborough set up as uh, you thought coming into the match? Yeah, they paid us a lot of respect. They, they, they might disagree with it, by the way, but in terms of where we believe we're strong, where we create a lot of chances, they, you know, they they they, they, they pack that midfield, and that's that's the formation that they, they might be familiar with. But for us. Um, I, I, you know, I thought we, we, we could have utilised the uh, ball a bit better in wide areas where you know where we could, but we didn't do. But again, you know, I stand here, points, clean sheet. You know, what what more what more can we ask for? So it's a tough task ahead on Tuesday. Another trip, long trip to the northeast. Morpeth themselves just won three 0 today. Do you have any thoughts ahead of that match early on? Yeah, Morpeth on paper is a tough fixture, regardless of where they are, who they beat today. You know, it's a it's a three-hour drive on a Tuesday night. Lads have got to finish work early, but that that goes for the other 21 teams or 20 teams in the league. You know, everybody at some point has to drive up to Morpeth. We've been up there already this season, where we you know we fell to defeat in the FA Cup in the 99th minute. So you know, we we, we want to put the record straight. Um, we are a little bit lightweight in terms of numbers at the minute, but so is everybody else. So we'll 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 plan. We'll, we'll recover from today. You know, it's probably sort of. Uh, the, this time of year, them heavy pitches take take it out of lads. But we'll cover right and, and we'll look forward to Tuesday and we'll go there with no excuses uh, and, and hopefully we can put the record straight and get a win.